Let's start by creating a new document. I'm going to go over here to Character Animation, and I'm going to select HD 1280 by 720, and then I'm going to click Create. Up here on the display for our frames, I'm just going to click right here and select Large. All right, so today I want to talk about timing. Timing is one of the 12 principles of animation, and it's really critical in understanding timing because if you don't understand it, things are going to move too slow or too fast. So what we think about when we think about timing is how things move. A feather is going to move slower if you drop it than a bowling ball. So timing is the number of frames needed to make something move at the right speed. So let's do a quick exercise to sort of demonstrate this. I'm going to click on my paintbrush and I'll change my color right here. Let's say I'm going to paint this in sort of a reddish orange color. Over here on the right hand side of the screen I'm just going to draw an arrow. So I'll put in a little arrow head on the front here and I'll put in some feathers in the back. Just a cartoon arrow right here. All right. I'm going to take my selection tool, I'm going to select this drawing, and I want to convert it to a symbol. And the reason I want to do that is I'm going to create a tween, and uh, anytime we tween something we need it to be a symbol instead of a drawing. So I'm going to go up to modify and then down to convert to symbol, and I'm just going to call this orange. All right. Now, I have to figure out how long it's going to take for the arrow to travel across the screen. All right, is it going to take three frames? Is it going to take 20 frames? How many frames? All right, so let's just say I'm going to guess 17. So I'm going to go over here to frame 17. I'll right click, insert a keyframe. All right, so that's making a copy of this arrow here. Now I need to move it to the other side of the screen. So I'm going to hold down Shift, click and drag and move this off the canvas. Okay. So now I've got a symbol on frame one and I've got a symbol on frame 17. So what I can do now is I can right click and go to create classic tween. And now what the computer has done is it's drawn all the frames in between the first and last position. Okay. So I've saved a little bit of time, right? So here you can see the arrows traveling across the stage. So this is our first arrow, so we'll just call this orange arrow. Okay. Let's create another arrow. I'm going to click on this, create a new layer. I'll double click on this. We'll call this uh, blue arrow. All right. I'll take my paintbrush. I'll click down here, and I'm going to select just a blue color. And then I'll go back over here to frame one, and I'm just going to draw in another arrow. Again, I'm not worried about the quality of my drawing. I'm going to take this drawing and I'm going to go to modify and then convert to symbol and I'll just call this blue. All right, now we tried the arrow going from frame 1 to 17. We got a certain speed, all right? So let's adjust the timing and see if we can get a better version of this arrow. So I'm going to go over here to frame 9. I'm going to right click insert a keyframe. Now I'm just going to move this drawing across the stage. Okay. And so now we have a keyframe on one and a keyframe on nine. I'm going to click in between those two keyframes and I'll right click and go to create classic tween. All right. So here I can see the arrow is traveling across the frame. So I'll press return to play it. And the timing is different, right? It's traveling the same distance, but it's only using half of the amount of time. All right, so let's try one more. I'm going to create another layer, and let's call this um, green arrow. Okay, I'm going to go over here to frame one. I'll take my paintbrush. I'm going to select this color here, color picker. I'll choose green, and then I'm just going to draw in a line draw in the front of the arrow, and then put in an arrow, Get a little feather back here. Let me take my eraser and erase a little bit here. So I'll take my selection tool, I'll select the drawing, go to modify, convert to symbol, and we'll call this green. Okay. So I'm going to adjust the timing again. I'm curious, what if I only have five frames for this? So I'm going to go over here to frame five, I'll right click, insert a keyframe, 
And I'm going to hold down Shift. I'm going to move this all the way across. Stop. Okay, and then I'm just going to click in between frame one and frame five. I'll right click and go to create classic tween. And now I have a third arrow down here at the bottom. You can see it's moving much faster. Looking at these three arrows, people are going to have different opinions about which arrow looks the best. Okay, what's realistic, what looks the best for a cartoon. You know, you can sort of apply physics to it. There's many different opinions. In general, for animation, you want to make things sort of go as fast as possible. Um, so I would go with the green arrow at the bottom here. It's got the most energy. Definitely, you know, this orange arrow at the top is moving way too slow. And that's a big problem with beginning animators is they want to make everything move really slow. And so if you're unsure about whether to go with the slow version or the faster version, most of the time you're going to want to choose that faster version. So now we've created these three arrows and we've used the tweening process. The computer has drawn those frames in between for us. But what if we can't tween? You know, not everything goes in a straight line. Um, what if we need to draw those frames in between the first position and the last position? What can we do? What techniques do we have? So let's try that right now. I'm going to hide green, blue, and orange orange arrows and I'm gonna go down here and change the color let's choose maybe something like pink okay so I'm gonna draw another arrow down here I'll create a new layer and we'll call this pink arrow all right we'll draw down here I'll draw in a straight line we'll make another arrow put in some feathers back here okay so this time, I am not going to convert this to a symbol, because I'm going to do some frame-by-frame -frame animation. All right, so let's say I'm going to model this after the green arrow and do a short version. So I'm going to do the same process where I start at the beginning, and then I go to the very end. So I'll insert a keyframe on frame 5, right? I'll take my selection tool, I'll hold down Shift, I'm going to move this over so that's off the stage, okay? So I have a first position and a last position. Now how do you determine the frames in between? How do you space this out? The easiest way to do it is to divide the time in half. So between 1 and 5, the middle position is 3. So I'm going to right click, insert a keyframe right here. And then I'm going to turn on the onion skin so I can see the beginning and the end. Okay, so I'll hit Command minus to zoom out. So I can see the first position's here, the last position's here. I'm on that middle frame, so I'm going to move this right in the center of these two other drawings. So now, let's go to frame 2. I'm going to change the range from 1 to 3. I'll press F6 to insert a keyframe. And now I'm going to move this over, and I'm going to divide the space. I'm going to go right in the middle of the previous drawing and the next drawing, right? Looks good. I'm now going to go to frame 4. I'll change the range from 3 to 5. I'm going to press F6 for a new keyframe, and I'm going to move this over. Okay, so I'm half, I'm right in the middle of these, the previous drawing and the next drawing. So now I've sort of figured out how to space this arrow and animate it manually. Okay, so if I turn on the green arrow right here, we can see we pretty much have the same result and we've animated it by hand. All right. So it's great when we can get the computer to do things for us, but often we need to do things manually on our own because the computer can't do everything. Okay. It's very good at putting in-betweens uh, when something, when the same object is not changing and it's moving in a straight line, but oftentimes we're animating animals or people and there's all kinds of limbs and hair and all these things they're all changing on each frame so we really have to understand how to in between our own animation okay so let's do this one more time I'm gonna hide the pink arrow and the green arrow I'm gonna create a new layer I'll double click here and this is gonna be the purple arrow okay I'll take my paintbrush, I'll select a purple color over here. I'm gonna hit Command Plus to zoom in. I'm gonna draw in an arrow right here. Okay. And we'll put in these little feathers on the back here. 
All right, so let's say we want to animate this. We're going to go to frame 9. This, this arrow is going to move slower. So I'm going to right click, insert keyframe. I'll take my selection tool. I'm going to move this off the stage, right? So now I've got my first position and my last position. I'll go straight into the middle of the timeline right there on frame 5. I'm going to right click, insert a keyframe. All right, I'm going to turn on the onion skin so I can see the first position and the last position, right? Hit command minus. Last position's over here. It's a little hard to see this, so I, I might drag the range out and you can see it a little bit easier, okay? So now I'm going to move this drawing right in the middle of those of the previous drawing and the next drawing, okay? Divide up the time. We're going to go 1 to 5 now. Okay? I'll press F6. I'll move this in between. I'll go over here to frame 7. I'm going to press F6. I'll move in between the two drawings. So far, so good. All right. So now we've got to go in and do the even numbers here. So between 1 and 3, we're going to put another keyframe right here. So I'm going to press F6. I'm going to move this over. Again, I'm going to place this arrow in between the other two drawings. I'll go to frame 4. All right. So I've, I can see the previous frame and the next frame. I'm going to press F6 to insert a keyframe. I'm just put this right in the middle of the other two drawings. Okay. Go to the next one. We're on frame 6 here. I'll press F6 to put a keyframe in, and I'll move this over. Go over here. I'll press F6, move this over. All right, so I'm going to turn off the onion skin, and I'll play the animation. Looks great. Let's compare it with the blue arrow right here. So we'll go frame by frame. You can see I have almost the exact same result, and we've done it by hand. Okay. So that's it for this exercise. Let's save our work. I'm going to go to File and then Save. And then I want to click on Documents, Animate Files. I'm going to go to Unit 2. I'm going to save this as Intro to Timing. Okay. And then we'll put in first, last name, comma space, first name. And then I'll go ahead and hit Save. Don't forget to save a copy of this file to the Dropbox so you get credit for the assignment.